Blockchain represents a list, or better said, records, called blocks that are linked using cryptography. The method by which a block is created and registered is very simple and efficient. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and a transaction data. Thereby, there is a stable connection that can be called a chain. Simply said, a blockchain represents a public, transparent, decentralized, and secured ledger that can register information in an efficient, verifiable, and permanent way. Let me share with you some stories of our experience, because there are many and quite interesting events to be mentioned. The Data's team members have dealt with blockchain technology in one way or another since 2012. So I think it's fair to say that together we have acquired quite a vast experience. All this time we have collaborated with different individuals, whether by working for or with them in the mining industry or blockchain, which made us realize the following. Approximately 95% of them had no idea how blockchain works, even though they had all kinds of information, they were still perceiving this technology the wrong way. I have to admit, we've done mistakes as well. However, we took our time to research and analyze in order to develop our work in the right direction. Around 2015 or 16, everyone had heard about blockchain, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. Everybody was talking about it. Therefore, based on what I've heard during this time, I allowed myself to split them in a few categories. For instance, imagine I was traveling by taxi and the taxi driver started talking about Bitcoin. He was telling me that he knew somebody who was producing Bitcoin and he was making a lot of money out of Bitcoin. Or better said, he was calling it Bitcoin. Yeah, this guy was funny. Then for the next category, the ones with a higher rank, for them blockchain meant ICO, even though they didn't know exactly what that was either. What was important to them was that it was possible to buy something, trade, grow and get rich. In the next category, and by far the hardest to work with, there was the people who had some IT knowledge. The problem was educating them it was impossible because in their opinion, they already knew everything since they were IT guys. This category of people was buying or developing by themselves mining rigs. Most of them were requesting to use our data center because we had the needed infrastructure, we were consuming about four and a half, five megawatts installed power, and we had the mining software, we had the mining pool, and we had super good discounts and pricing for mostly all of the hardware and from all the suppliers. They considered themselves superior because they were not buying like others, but producing cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin. In this case, the situation was far more complex because you had to follow both the cryptocurrency and the electronic stocks market at the same time. Long story short, for the vast majority, wrongly understood this technology meant blockchain is Bitcoin. Virtual currency is getting rich scheme. The mining equipment is producing money on its own without any additional effort, without any additional business management. And for the authorities, Bitcoin, blockchain, virtual currency, all of them was criminal behavior. Then the decline period came, and guess what? People weren't making money anymore. The currency hit a downturn, the mining equipment decreasing in value, and it was consuming more than it was producing. And all of a sudden, everyone lost their trust. In that moment, we realized that people didn't actually know anything about blockchain. They were relying only on misconceptions. Ever since, blockchain has wrongly remained for the vast majority of people only a deceit, a scam, and everything related to this system is believed to be only an illusion. Around the world, there are certain players, whether organizations or individuals, that really know and understand what blockchain is all about. However, public opinion remains divided. Why public? Well, some people are affected negatively by this technology, while others benefit from it. One thing is certain though, Everyone knows that blockchain implementation eliminates fraud, divides power, and makes everything transparent. For instance, governments are unhappy because blockchain implementation hinders the fraud process. Everything is transparent and nobody can interfere to make changes, but they don't really understand it this way. So how can you manipulate the technology? It's simple, you can't. Furthermore, the banking system is also disturbed or against or unsupportive because Every asset really exists on blockchain, being backed up in information. 
being backed up in the ledger. Therefore, you can't generate whatever you want at any time you want. That's not as flexible as the current banking system. Transactions and administration fees, commissions, they don't go anymore to the banks. But to the system validators, to the people, everything happening according to some clear rules and decentralized. Nevertheless, decisions are not up to a few selected people or groups anymore. They are applied according to certain rules on which it's possible to intervene only by voting of over 50 plus 1 percent. Yet, people are excited because the blockchain system could eliminate the elections fraud, bureaucracy and also reduce the time spent on verifications. Its implementation could revolutionize the storage architecture, access and the information processing system as well. Luckily, we realized that blockchain isn't just a possibility of producing virtual currency, and we did it early. It's also an innovative technology that could be implemented for packing, transferring, validating, and protecting data. This is how we've begun developing a software based on blockchain architecture. The first step towards this direction was the development of the voice over blockchain technology and its implementation into the day-to-day -day devices, mobile phones, computers, and lately the automotive industry. Since people's needs are continuously changing, technology should keep evolving in order to keep up with their demands. As a technology company, we plan to bring digitalization in every home to provide solutions so any person could easily access the new technologies. In order for us to understand why it's beneficial, we first need to understand what blockchain is. In order for new technologies to be developed, we need to learn how to use the existing ones. You see, everything connects, like in blockchain. So, as I said before, blockchain is a transparent, public, decentralized and secure ledger. Let's take each attribute separately and understand it. Blockchain is transparent because any block, meaning any information, could be verified by the other members of the system. Thereby, nothing can be altered because every adjustment or adjustment attempt is subject to voting on a majority basis. The recognition and acceptance of a new block must also be done by the network members. Therefore, we have a transparent system in which everything is unique and visible. Decentralizing the decision-making power is the best way to preserve the accuracy and integrity of the system. Blockchain applies this principle both in the validation of users' actions and in data storage. The peer-to-peer -peer architecture consists in a system that does not incorporate central servers. Information is transmitted to all members of the system and thereby the risk of attack or network failure is eliminated. Everyone should have access to it and everyone should actively participate in its maintenance. In order for it to properly function, blockchain enables access to its updated versions to all active users. This means you can access the information at any time and from anywhere. You only need to be connected. From my own experience, I can assure you blockchain incorporates and also represents the most advanced security system, ledger, database, call it whatever. By means of its architecture, blockchain represents a system that uses encryption for storing information and for eliminating every attack or denied access. To cut a long story short, rules violation is virtually impossible. And how we like to say it, how do you best protect something? You hide it in plain sight, but completely inaccessible to the others. This method applies to blockchain as well. The system selects information, encrypts it, and sends it to every user in order to secure it. However, the access to this information is granted only by a unique encryption key. You must for sure have heard about a private key and a public key as well. We've learned the most important thing to remember. Blockchain is not the same with virtual currency or cryptocurrency. Yes, it represents a fundamental technology with a great potential to create new grounds for both macro and micro economics and social systems. But please keep in mind, blockchain is not equal cryptocurrencies. Moreover, it's a disruptive technology that confronts traditional global models through providing advanced solutions and also transparent and efficient services at a lower cost. Although this technology is still in early stages and needs more time to be studied and implemented as a basic architecture, it brought and can further bring improvements in the medical system, education, financial models, telecom, national voting, processing, storing, 
accessing and transmitting information, and many other fields of activity as well. In our vision, both crypto data as in mine, blockchain symbolizes the future of technology. So we'll keep developing and offering solutions to improve our users' lives.